Uh, let's check the logs, right? See what it says. Uh, cannot declare variable circle one to be of abstract type circle. So I, once again, there's something missing. I think that uh, by mistake I removed the uh, const, right? And so now I need to restore. Uh, essentially, this get perimeter has to be an exact match with the function implementation. Otherwise, compiler doesn't doesn't resolve it properly. So that's that's something I uh, a, a simple mistake that I that I made. So hopefully, again, if I save everything and try building it. Hopefully it goes well, right? So, so this time again, if I if I run this, uh, we get this uh, total area uh, result printed, and this is fine. Okay. Um, so this is uh, I I would consider this to be a significant improvement because remember uh, my code inside this header file here uh, was already uh, running away from like a single page. Um, of code, but now simply by taking all of these function implementation, copying and pasting them, and uh, making sure that I prefix every function by the name of the class, uh, the uh, the actual readability of this header file improves uh, quite significantly, and that's probably the right way uh, of doing stuff. Um, I also would like to discuss something else um, uh, today, uh, uh, specifically when um, when we uh, remember we um, we started that uh, when we uh, were looking at the classes that we have, we discovered that the shape class here, the shape class, um, uh, only has uh, has no data and only has get area and get perimeter, which are uh, pure virtual functions, right? So functions that are virtual functions, but also including uh, equal zero, uh, which the, is the syntax that specifies that the function has no implementation, and therefore, once you have a class with with no uh, with missing implementation, you can no longer create instance of shape, but you can, however, create uh, instances of the derived objects, and so. Uh, and uh, an object like this shape uh, with uh, only virtual functions uh, typically is referred to as pure interface. Pure interface. Okay, so pure interface uh, is essentially a class, right? Pure interface. Just erase some of this to make space, and uh, we can say that uh, pure uh, interface is um, a class that has no data, and if it has no data, therefore, right? Therefore. Uh, it has no constructors and since it has no data it's very likely to have only right uh, plus only pure virtual uh, functions So uh, at design time and basically when you program uh, classes, right, the classes that have no data, right, therefore no constructors because there's nothing to construct. Constructors initialize data. There's no data. And only pure virtual functions. Uh, those classes are normally recognized uh, by programmers, by designers of applications as uh, uh, pure interface classes. And shape, in our case, is an example of such class. Just remember that uh, we uh, do say that once you have uh, 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 first virtual function declared, 
uh, we need to provide virtual destructor to make sure that all objects of you know that derive from this type when they create it uh, and when they're destroyed uh, they will be destroyed properly uh, for this we need to add virtual destructor to the class and that's just something that we have to remember uh, essentially saying virtual shape uh, destructor at the level of uh, pure interface um, suggests that uh, we add uh, um, uh, the address of, of all destructors that all derived classes will have to the virtual uh, virtual uh, pointer table. All right, so shape is a pure interface. Um, you can even make it uh, basically uh, quite visible. You can name it I shape to say that shape is an interface. I shape, I shape and then uh, change all appearances of the shape to I shape. Right, whenever we use it, just rename this class just to, just to kind of specify uh, to ourselves that uh, shape is intended to be just a pure uh, interface because all it does, it just tells the compiler um, we can make a collection of pointers to I shapes but um, uh, you can never create an instance of shape because all it does is essentially redirects calls such as get area and get perimeter uh, to the correct implementation for whatever object um, uh, I shape uh, pointer is pointing to. Uh, and therefore, in our main uh, function, likewise, of course, we need to make this adjustment. This is just a cosmetic adjustment, but uh, uh, if uh, if I ever need to say it right here, right? So say uh, we decided to change it to I shape. This is my habit of naming interface classes with an uppercase I in front of the class name, and this was also uh, used uh, somewhere uh, over here. So that is uh, something that I can modify and again uh, save everything and build. Uh, oh yes, and over here as well, just one more that I forgot. Right, so if I uh, run it, uh, just test it, again, this continues to work. Uh, and so that is just something that is interesting to recognize uh, as pure interface. Right, so the, the class that has no implementation and is only used to talk to um, uh, talk to the, the set of uh, uh, member functions which will be provided uh, by uh, the derived classes. <clears throat>